using black thread um, catch it on oh. I'm going to tie in some very very fine gold wire um, if you don't have gold wire this fine use tying thread or either use no rib or use tying thread as a rib um, this is um, very fine stuff, it's, it's Lagarton fine I'm just turn it in below the hook shank as normal the tail this is called a red tag but it's actually got a tail not a tag which is ironic tail is just knitting wool this is it's not even this isn't even wool it's actually acrylic but it's a knitting yarn this is a three ply yarn um, I want it to tie on for the length of the more or less the length of the body the length of the shank rather I'm not fussed about it being terribly neat the underbody being it's smooth but it's not terribly neat because it's going to be covered completely in peacock now dry fly hackle about one third of the way along the, the, the shank from the eye I'm going to tie in my hackle um, it's going to cover you can see that there's red there's red um, yarn there the hackle is again it's a red game hackle and I'm looking for a hackle that's about this is a wide gape hook so I'm, I'm not that fussed about it being too wide but normally I'll be looking for a yeah that'll do I'll be looking for a hackle that's slightly um, wider than the when I, when I spread the fibers it's slightly wider than the, the, the hook it's about one and a third times the gap if you look at this there is um, you can see there's a webby portion there um, I'm going to start I'm going to strip off to that point there so I'm only using the fine part the, the, the hard um, bristling part of the, 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 the dry fly hackle and I'm going to tie this in with the, the stem extending back of the tail and I'm going to tie in a thin um, a thin peacock hurl. I'm using a single hurl you can use more it tends to be less, less tidy if you do use more I've taken off the tip and tying it in on the side of the shank run the thread past the hackle to the space that I've left for the head now, the hurl is tied uh, as we've done before um, doing it in touching turns so it covers everything the hackle and then bend the hackle back and keep going to 
until you meet the thread. And take the thread over it, bring it back. The wire goes forward to the thread in open spiral, even turns you can do it. right spiral right up through the thorax area. Catch it in. Break it away. Oh. Um. If your hackle hasn't broken, hopefully your hackle hasn't broken, um, I just have to wind this forward. I'm going to use hackle pliers. Again, it's a long hackle. I don't need to use hackle pliers, but I will. Um, I prefer doing it that way. Now, I've got two options here. I can I can come forward in, a, in an open spiral and make it a lightly hackled fly, or I can f come forward in a, in a touching turns and make it a heavily hackled fly. I'm going to make this a heavily hackled fly. So, touching or as near touching turns as I can, I can make, I can manage. You reach the head, a couple of turns there, release the tip of the hackle, and pull everything back. That's the tip and all the fibres. Clean up the head, the small head, I want as few turns in there as possible. And put finish in there. Pull the hackle fibres forward so they sit towards the head. I haven't varnished this yet. I can pull the hard fibres back and forward as I want. Um, I want the, the tail to be about the same length as... I want my, my tail to be about the same length as the body. It's up to you how long you make that. Um, I'll go for about that. Then I'll take a needle through it just to open up the fibres a wee bit. That's it. Um, I quite often fish dry flies without varnishing the head. I would suggest that you put a drop of varnish, that you, you pull the fibres back and put a drop of varnish on the head to secure it. Don't use, um, please don't use um, super glue. A number of entries have come in that have had super glue used as the, the, the head cement. and. He, what happens is it looks as though they've been dusted in powder, but of course it's the it's the vapours from the um, from the varnish from the, the super glue. That's it. Classic fly, simple fly, very effective fly. I tend to fish these as is, treated with floatant, um, and then if things are getting a bit calm. In rough water, that's fine. If things are getting a bit calm, I'll chop off the bottom of the hackle, the bottom of the hackle, and um, carry on fishing the same fly.